Hey, what's up guys? It is DJ. Happy April Fool's Day. Thankfully, there'll be no fooling in this video, but there's also no testing list either. However, we did have some mods released this morning, super early on the mod up, and we've got a couple modders to talk about. So jump right in. No mods in testing today as giant software are out of the office for Easter. However, we still got mods, surprisingly enough. Four new and updated mods were released today on the in-game mod up. I've already made a video showing these off, so make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it. Jumping over to modern news, classic American icons modding dropped a screenshot of their Big Bud HN250 showing off some of the animations that the tractor will have, like the opening hood and side door. They did want to get the cabin to tilt back, but we're not able to make that happen as they say it was too tricky to work. Still, some nice animations are coming. Next, Explode Modding says that they have come to an agreement with Morris Equipment to bring some of their equipment into Farmsome 22 as mods. Explode's post was written in a way that kind of made it sound like they were partnered with the site, but it looks like the site is just the modder. They started making Morris mods a few months ago, but nothing was said about consoles, so I didn't talk about it. Well, now with this news, looks like some Morse mods will be coming to console once they pass testing, of course. Currently, they're working on the 9650 air cart, C2 Contour 90 foot drill, and the Quantum Air Drill. Next up, Yoast Modding is on a roll with the release of his pancake production update today and Liftable Bales Pack version 112 coming soon. Yoast posted this teaser along with the changelog for the Liftable Bales update, changed the dimensions for square and round bales to support base game equipment and other mods, and added a 2,000 and 5,000 liter bale to the John Deere CP690. Moving on, Bloody98 is back with us for the first time in a while to share some information about their Amazon UX5200 Sprayer. If this looks familiar, well, it was an FS13 model. I think it was an FS15 and 17 and 19, and now it's going to be in 22 as well, and they've improved it over time. Back in the day, it had different working widths of 24, 30, 36, and 40 meters with a capacity of 56,000 liters. Sorry, 5,600 liters, not 1,000. Ooh, that'd be a lot. For FS22, they're wanting to add additional version with either 27 or 28 meters to more fit with technological paths. Whatever that means, I assume uh, some type of GPS mod or something. But anyway, Mlady released a straw poll on that matter. And you guys can check that out and cast your vote if you want to. BC Beulah Farms went live yesterday, showing off their Fiber Dash progress and how it works in the game. The live stream is almost three hours long, so if you've got the afternoon off today for Easter, maybe a good time to grab that chocolate bunny you got yesterday and veg out for a while. One thing that we did learn from that live stream is that the trailer will also be usable as a Bell Auto Load semi trailer. And I want to thank Ghost Modding for sharing that information with me. You rock, dude. And lastly, today, Mr. Hector Mods has some more information on the update 1.1 for Carpathian Countryside. The railroads will be getting updated with new collisions on the rails with less of a defined spot and more of like an overall collision around the whole train rail system. This should allow for more performance in those areas with lower end CPUs and uh, lower end uh, consoles, as well as keeping equipment from getting stuck so easily. That's a big one. Additionally, there will be a new growth calendar for more realistic planting and harvesting for the region, mainly differences between wheat and barley, allowing you to plant them in spring and harvest starting in the summer. Great updates for an awesome map. And you get great updates for an awesome segue, just like this one. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to everything we talked about today can be found in the description. You can check out the entire video in the form of a news article on farmsimnews.com. Thanks to Yos Modding. Hey, we talked about him today. Remember, there's no release dates for mods, so no one knows when any mod's going to be released. And if I didn't talk about something that you want to know about, it just simply means that there's no new information on that topic at the time of recording this video. And because it was a holiday weekend, there's really not a lot on anything today. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for updated information on all the top stories that you need to know about going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is it for this one. No fool, and hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure that notification bell's on as well. That way, you never miss videos like this one. All being said, just hope you have an awesome day. Try not to get fooled too much today. We'll see you later. I think the only fool today is me wearing a 4B gaming shirt. Oof, burn.